look at this ship. It's got everything. Speed. Power. It floats like no one else is in the world. So what can you come to expect from it? Energy critical. Well actually, Wipeout HD has a hell of a lot in it for the small price of £12. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is the graphics, and I nearly fell in love. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, Wipeout HD has a normal single player that most racers now have. Now there's three game types, there's Time Trial, Race and Zones, and these can be done on any of the eight tracks. Now, eight tracks don't sound a lot, but you can reverse them if that makes a big difference, but in my eyes it doesn't. So, the only game type that I can talk about really is Zone, seeing that Time Trial is pretty self-explanatory. You go around the track in a time limit that it gives you, and Race is pretty self-explanatory as well. You race other players. So, Zone is the most interesting to talk about. You go around the track, and each time you get around the track, you increase in speed. And you keep going through different zones, and each zone will give you a different colour to the track, and give you a different speed to the track. And most of the time, actually no, all the time, it's faster. You don't even have to hold down the accelerator button, it does it for you. You just have to get around the track without dying, and by dying, I mean crashing your ship. And trust me, by the time you get to about zone 30, you'll be panicking. So this Wipeout game is basically a mixture of the two PSP games. And that actually shows from the ships that you can choose from and the tracks. Now it isn't really a bad thing unless if you played those two games to death. But even that, for the tiny price that it's asking, it gives you brilliant graphics and a great soundtrack as well. So yeah, I can't really argue that, you know, rehashing old tracks and old ships is really a bad thing. So there's eight ships to choose from from the get-go and four to unlock. Now each ship has three paint schemes as well that you unlock via loyalty points. Now loyalty points are just if you go that ship for so long, you'll just keep getting more and more loyalty points for that uh, specific team and they unlock paint schemes and that's it really. Now Wipeout has always been known for its high speeds and its action packed races and this one has no exception of it. The weapons are back and it's got all the basic ones of rockets, shields, homing rockets, boosts and that massive wave blast which makes you feel like a god. <coughs> Yeah, sorry, and the weapons actually do play a very important part in the races. For example, you've got the final stretch, and you boost past your opponent and fly over the top of them, and that makes you win the race. Rockets, for example, shoot them at someone, and it slows them right down to the point where you can just easily overtake them. Now, you might think that's a bit unfair, but it actually isn't. It is very strategically done, and it is just like any other Wipeout game in the past. Now as I keep saying the graphics are fantastic and it even gives you the option to take snapshots and upload them to your PS3 and then take them over to your PC and look at the graphics there. The soundtrack is also really good as well, like any other Wipeout game it's got a really good techno beat and again everything just works so well together. The online multiplayer side of it is really good. You can race up with 7 of your friends or 7 randomers and you can do tournaments where you can do up to 12 races or just do one single race. And this gives a quite a good competitive edge to take your skills online and see if you can really master the tracks while facing proper players. And even though the AI is good, it does get boring after a while.
Now the negative side to the game. And yeah, there are negative sides to the game. Because it's rehashed from old PSP games, even though it's not too bad if you haven't played them, if you have, it'll get boring very fast. Even if you haven't played them, 8 tracks is not nearly enough for you to keep interested for a long time. Hopefully there'll be more via downloadable content, but only one can hope that it'll be cheap enough for you to go back to the game. Yes, the tracks can be reversed, but come on, it's not that much different. Secondly, there's only three game modes, and yeah, okay, not many racing games do have more than about three, but there aren't things like basic arcade mode and things like that. Yes, you can go back to the races and try and get gold and everything, but there's only so much you can get out of the three game modes. Overall, Wipeout HD is fantastic. It keeps the cool futuristic look which is throughout all the other Wipeout games, and even though it's rehashed from the two PSP games, it still has so much to offer, even if it's just through the graphics and sound. And for the price that's only £12, it's really great value. Great graphics, very fast, fun, great sound, and a great price. Wipeout HD is one game on the PSN definitely to check out. Gold medal awarded.